Hey guys, I've got another quick tip for you. Say you have a hard surface model like this one here and it looks pretty good, but there's just one problem. See, you have these perfectly hard edges and in real life, there's no such thing as a perfect edge. So rather than painstakingly modeling our rounder edges, Redshift provides a pretty easy solution. So let's open our render view to take a look. Okay, so I've already got a pretty basic metal texture on here and right away you can kind of see what I'm talking about. These hard edges just don't look realistic. So what's our quick fix for that? Let's open our material, go into our Redshift material, and we want to go to Utilities, Round Corners, drag and drop that in here, and then bring that right into your overall bump input. And boom, I mean, that's honestly just about it. Uh, right away, you can see we start catching a lot more detail down here, especially, but you can see I got these really interesting, let me move this over here, really interesting edges that look a lot cleaner and a lot more realistic. And so with this, we can go ahead and adjust our uh, radius. And so we can turn this up and you can, of course, expand the rounded edge. <laughs> That's obviously way too much. Cool, looks good. Um, we're getting a little bit of weirdness down here and that can be quickly fixed by turning on the consider same object only and that should get rid of that. Basically what same object only does is it just says, hey, as you make the rounded corners, just look at the object that the material is being applied to. Otherwise what it'll do is it'll look at other objects that are intersecting and create rounded corners. And that can be useful, but for the most part, I just like to keep this thing turned on. I also wanted to show you real quick what to do about materials that already have a normal map. In this particular case, I'm just using this uh, worn bronze from Grayscale Gorilla. Uh, let me just go ahead and pull up the render view so you can see how that's looking. So yeah, you can see that, you know, if I get in close, that this already has a normal map. There's some little bumps and dents throughout the model. To deal with that, let me open up the material. And there's a bunch of things plugged in here, but all we really need to worry about is the bump input. And we got this little bump map node. You might be tempted to bring your round corners in and plug it into there. But that's going to make all your rounded corners look really weird. And that's because you want your rounded corners to be plugged directly into the bump on the material. There we go. Now it's fixed. Just a little gotcha for when you're doing this on your own. We have our bump map feeding into this little node here, which is converting our normal texture into a usable bump map. We need to combine this bump with the rounded corners. We just need a bump blender, bring that in. And we're gonna use this bump map as our base. And then we're gonna take our rounded corners and we're gonna bring that into layer zero. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. As you can see, it's not working. And that's because we go to our blender. We have our layer zero, so that is again our rounded corners. And that's turned off, so it's turned the bump weight all the way up. Okay, almost there. Now all we're getting is our rounded corners. We need to see the bump underneath. So what we do with that is we just enable additive mode. And all additive mode does is it just adds together all of our normal maps that are being fed into our bump blender. There we go, now we have rounded edges with a bump map. Oh, and of course, don't forget, Turn on consider same object only to get rid of some of that weirdness. And yeah, there we go. Looks pretty good. So that's my quick tip for today. Hope it helps somebody.